All things console related just have to be budget when it comes down to it because no gamer wants to spend 10 times as much on their TV as they do on their PS5. So here are the absolute best TVs for the PS5 at a budget. Oh, and every single TV will be linked in both the comments and the comment section in the description if you fancy checking them out. Starting off the list at the pricey end of the budget is the LG NanoCell 80 series, which will run you back exactly $850. Don't worry, this is actually the most expensive one on the list, although if you want to ramp up even more than you can, just as easily opt for the larger models all the way up to the 75 inches. Generally, for the price, you do get a lot of screen. This particular model will get you a 55-inch TV from LG, of course. That offers an array of unique LG technology, like their NanoCell tech, hence the name. That essentially allows the colors to pop out a lot more, while also in comparison, keeping the darker colors dark without the irritation of color washing. The panel is no OLED, but it is an edge-lit LED panel, so rest assured that the color range is extensive and as vibrant as it can be. That means those great picture quality oriented games like Horizon New Dawn will look truly fantastic and the experience will be outstandingly immersive. Naturally, since it is a 4K TV with HDR10, I might add, so it will work seamlessly with the PS5 for any genre of game, including some of those more fast-paced action games. Its super-fast quad-core processor and thin AI, as they've called it, will help scale up non-4K content to a 4K replica, which is really nice if you plan on using this screen for some older generation consoles. It also has a gaming mode which reduces latency when turned on. Unfortunately, the refresh rate is capped at 60Hz, which means you won't be able to make use of the PS5's 120fps capabilities. But then again, that hardly matters because the TV only supports HDMI 2, and for anything near 120Hz, you'll need an HDMI 2.1. However, because it's an LG TV, what you get is their very own true motion, which is essentially refresh rate upscaling to make the motion appear more smoothly. How good that is compared to the real thing is probably a little subjective, but having it is a welcome feature. On the opposite end of the price spectrum, we have the V435 TV by Vizio, which is just $220. It's a smaller screen at just 43 inches, but the price is still remarkably cheap given what you get for it, and if you want, you can always scale up to 75 inches. The screen is 4K, of course, but you won't be getting any crazy good technology like the LG TV. There's a fair bit of unique specifications that set it apart, but more on that later. What you get is HDR10 and Dolby Vision. It does actually support HDMI 2.1, but that's kind of wasted because the refresh rate is capped at 60 hertz. That means you won't be able to make use of the PS5's full FPS, but on a budget, that's expected. The panel type is full array backlight LED, which means color is evenly distributed across the screen for uniformity and better picture performance in general. Much like the LG, this TV has an AI processor that allows the 4K upscaling which, at this price range, is an absolute steal. There are a lot more gimmicks listed like the active pixel tuning, which improves color, in short, and then there's their gameplay mode, which automatically turns on when synced to a PS5. That means faster responsiveness and a lower input lag. When it comes to actual picture quality, what it delivers is nothing short of amazing. I have to say that colors are beautifully vibrant and really do a good job at differentiating from Eco Hother and with HDR enabled, the experience is really just something. For all that, I think this is without a doubt the best and most cheap TV you could get without compromising for quality too much. The only real drawback of this TV is probably the absence of AMD FreeSync and variable refresh rate. That isn't exactly necessary for console gaming, so I can hardly complain. The Hisense H8G is a generously sized 55-inch screen that costs a surprising $504, considering all it has to give. Right out of the gate, I will say that it doesn't have HDMI 2.1 support, so you still won't be able to reach that high PS5 FPS. But even so, the TV's refresh rate is a native 60Hz, but it does go all the way up to 240Hz with the use of motion enhancement technology. 
That is absolutely insane for a TV and will look amazing for movies. However, don't expect to be able to enable your PS5's 120 FPS feature because it's still not completely compatible, but it will absolutely make gameplay look a lot smoother. Outside of that, it's obviously 4K and HDR10 enabled, as well as other different types of HDR support. The screen reaches up to 700 nits and the color range is pretty extensive all thanks to Hisense's Quantum Dot Tech, which unlocks more than a billion color combinations to ensure color richness. Paired with a fantastic array of HDR options and you've got a very color accurate TV that isn't overly colorful and isn't too dark. It reaches that perfect twilight zone. You may see this as a con, but you do get an LED panel, which is not bad by any means, but it's not OLED or anything of that sort. I would say that an OLED panel would be nice, but at this price range, it's a lot to ask and frankly the picture quality already looks so great. You'll also be glad to hear that there is a gaming mode which will do the basics of lowering input lag and increasing responsiveness. A lot of what makes this TV great is the value for money because you truly get a TV that goes above and beyond for a very fair price. Sure, it's not got proper 120Hz support, but as long as you don't care that much and can settle for Hisense's motion enhancement technology, then this TV is honestly a really, really good choice. Now looking at TCL, and more specifically their 55-inch 5 Series which comes in at $550. Again, that's very reasonable and great bang for the buck. Just over the price of the PS5 itself is a 4K TV with a number of appeals including 4K, a range of HDR presets, and most of all, a QLED panel. When it comes to picture quality and color vibrance, you really struggle to beat a good QLED or OLED panel, which is why this TV is so amazing. Colors are, well, very colorful and sharp. Absolutely no color washing and the vibrance will truly steal your attention. It has a weird feature that they call contrast control and that I guess makes the colors more contrasted from each other, which does actually make the image appear a bit sharper. The auto-enabled gaming mode will active when connected up to a console such as a PS5 and smooth out the experience with lower latency and a slightly different picture setting. The refresh rate is unfortunately still pretty low at just 60 Hz, but it has built-in natural motion 240, which, as by now, you probably know will lower the motion blur and stutteriness of 60 Hz will essentially upscale 60 Hz a little bit more by placing fake frames in between frames, but again, that won't mean you get that native 120 Hz sadly. It'll still look pretty good though. To add even more to the TV's extensive features, it has 4K upscaling for non-4K content, including those movies and backwards compatible games. And for the absolute best TV for the PS5, in my personal opinion, is the TCL 55-inch 6 series. So as the name suggests, this is a very similar model to previous entry, except it's kind of ramped up a bit. It's the first 4K TV on the list to also be truly 120Hz, and that's an agreeable price of $800. I am aware that is double the price of the PS5, but frankly, it's worth every penny. For the PS5 games that do support full-fledged 4K and 120 frames per second, this TV will look genuinely amazing. And a lot like the previous TVs, this one has FPS upscaling that goes all the way up to 480Hz. So alongside the native 102 frames per second, you have motion upscaling. Not only that, but the 6 Series is a HDRQ LED TV, so the picture quality goes beyond mesmerizing with a much wider color range than most LED panels. On top of that, it also has a very advanced game mode, more specifically, THX Certified Game Mode. That does more to change the game than most TV's counterparts. For instance, it removes image smear, response time, and input lag. Altogether, these features equate a lot of freedom with how you play your games. You can go for better looking gameplay or faster gameplay depending on your preference. It's your play. Of course, if you want to take a look at any of these TVs, then be sure to check the comments or description. Anyways, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe.